Keep on, bun. Hey guys and welcome back to Schneids 15. Today we're at my grandpa's. Uh, I just came down south here. We're gonna start up the tractors. I come up here every year and do this if he doesn't get them out. So uh, anyways, we'll give you a show of them. But uh, beautiful summer day here. It's not too hot yet. This is old uh, 35. And uh, it's had some painting done on it over the years. He actually redid those rims there last year because they were rotten so he got new rims for it and the old bugger changed the tires himself and did everything so uh anyway she's here we're gonna throw a battery in them and get them going but they're both in good shape everything works on them so that's a 35 um and this one here it's all original this is my favorite one here this is the 165 uh looks pretty shiny yet he sprays them with diesel fuel everywhere to preserve them but uh, due to COVID, he's coming up on his lawnmower and I'm driving this so we can stay separated. But we're together. So anyways, this is hers with the wheel weights, everything. Four cylinder Perkins diesel. So we're, uh, this tractor, everything is really tight on it and everything is just really, really nice tractor. It's in good shape. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna throw on some uh, batteries in there and get them started up and take them for a little spin and get the juices flowing in them and we park them again. So on the little one here we take off this breather and give the hood a flip and then we can get into our battery. So if you ever park these tractors make sure you got some room or else you can't get to the battery because you got to flip up the hood. Anyways, we're going to toss that battery in there and uh, start her up.
right, so we're just down at the shop here now. We got her out, she's looking pretty good. Uh, so you can hear it was only running on two cylinders or so. It's because uh, the one cylinder got honed out when it was rebuilt and it hasn't been worked, it's just sat. So he thinks it needs to be worked, uh, I don't know. It started kicking in on three and ran on three the whole time down. Uh, he drove it up into the shed after he did the rim. There's only a couple lug nuts on it, so we're gonna put the rest of them on. But uh, I'm gonna pull out the battery here and we're gonna run up and get the 165 going. All right, so we're just walking up to the field, battery in hand. We're uh, gonna go up and get the 165 now. Left the golf cart up here, so I gotta bring up the battery myself. But uh, yeah, so we're just heading up there. It's interesting on these tractors, they're old enough. I should say new enough, but they still got a positive ground on them. Messes a lot of people up that don't know old stuff. I think positive as a ground, they really puzzles them. So anyways, just so you know, we're gonna throw up uh, the battery in here and get this 165 going. All right, so I got the battery in there. We're just gonna find the oil here. Check it out. It's always something to do after it's been sitting for so long uh, where do we go I can't see anything in here we'll find her oh here we go right at the top all right the connections aren't real good on there anymore so I just got the battery sitting there Let's see if she has any juice We're good. All right. Where is our shut off? Pull the stop right there. There we go. Gonna take a little video here putting it in. Yeah. Alright, so we got her down at the shop now. Just uh, checked all the fluids, they're all good. Still got all the original logos in here, but uh, topped her up with some diesel conditioner, topped up the tires with a bit of air, and uh, just worked the PTO, getting everything working. Uh, and then we're gonna go park them again. 
this one we just filled her up with some fuel there and uh, I'm gonna drive this one around a bit and get some blood into it and get those lug nuts on so you'll see us in a second here so I never ended up uh, getting the 35 out for a good run or anything I'm gonna save that for my next trip down I got busy so I ended up just bringing the 165 up and parking it and 35 behind the scenes but the whole purpose of this video is just to show you what I do yearly. My grandpa's 83, doesn't or almost 83, doesn't get the tractors out, so I like to bring them out and just run them through the gears, get the clutches moving, and get all the lubricants going, and just maintain them a bit. It's better than them sitting, and uh, get them up to temp and park them. So uh, there's a quick video and just shows what I do for my uh, yearly maintenance on his tractors to help him out. Thanks for watching, guys. As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.